my god. I literally just filmed that whole collection. That whole I talked about every single shoe and the audio was not on. My mic was not on. I just can't I cannot. I I Okay, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Hey guys, what's up with Ruby? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing my sneaker collection. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I've been meaning to do this video for literally like two years. I, when I first started my YouTube channel, I had it on my list of video ideas two years ago and I never did it. So here we are, two years later, it's finally happening. If you're new to my channel, you might not know, but basically I moved to London in September of last year from Melbourne. When I moved, I only brought like five pairs of shoes with me. Didn't bring that many pairs of sneakers because obviously I couldn't carry that much. But um, anyway, since then I've, you know, bought a few pairs. I've also been back home. I went back home in March um, because of coronavirus and then I came back in July. So I brought a few pairs few pairs with me back with me so I've got like a bit of a collection again and I'm also going to talk about a couple that I don't have with me because sadly right at the last minute I had to take out a few of my most favorite pairs because my luggage was overweight so I'm going to talk about those because I've got pictures of them so I'll show you the pictures but I'm not gonna they're not gonna be in the try-on section and I'm not gonna be holding them in my hand but that's whatever all right let's get started okay so the first pair of shoes I'm going to talk about is my latest purchase, which is these Converse Chuck Taylors in blue. We love the color. I wanted to get them in blue because I've got a bunch of different colors in Converse lately. I'm loving different color cons right now. It's my thing. But, you know, Converse is literally the shoe of my childhood. Everyone had their shoe when they were in primary school and they were in uh, high school, like what their favorite brands of shoes were. Mine was Converse. I was definitely a Converse girl. I had, um, I had the plain black ones and then I remember in like Sharpie, I did like the checker, checkerboard thing on my, on like this bit. It kind of ruined the shoe, not gonna lie, but that was like, I just remember doing that. But anyway, also me and my friend used to like trade shoes for the day. So I would wear like one of my, like for example, I'd wear one of my shoe and then I'd wear one of her shoe. And so we'd be wearing like two different shoes. It was kind of weird, but we also got like real joy from it. So yeah. And yeah, they're in pretty good condition because I haven't worn them too much. All of my other shoes are honestly, they need to be cleaned. I just wear them all the time and they're dirty. So beware of that. Okay, moving on. So I'm going to do these in a random order. Like I'm just, I'm not going to like, you know, separate them by brand or anything. So let's move on to, let's move on to Nike. Okay, so these, these Nikes are in, they're not in the best shape. They, uh, I just worn them to death, essentially. They need to be cleaned. I need to give them a proper like shoe polish clean, get them back to white, get them looking fresh again. But anyway, I, these, a, these are the Nike Air Force One grade school apostrophe 07. That's just what I remember them being called. They are a kid's shoe. They're like the boys um, sizing. And yeah, if you can, if you can fit into your kid sizing, always get kid sizing because it's literally sometimes half the price. It's so much cheaper. A lot of my a lot of my shoes are kid sizing, and I save so much money. It's honestly the best. So these ones I love because the detailing is amazing. The laces they say Nike, 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 and I love them. Back in the day when I used to post to my blog, if you want to check out my blog, it's posandrepeat.com. Anyway, I used to post on my blog, and I would do like sneakers of the month. And these ones I did a post about and then since then I've like pinned on Pinterest that blog post and it's got the photos of these shoes they look much better than they do right now they're in like actually good condition but those shoes are literally my best performing pin on Pinterest and I see them all over Pinterest it's insane and I still get people uh, messaging me about like where to get them but they're so old that you really can't get them anymore so yeah I absolutely love these I get so much wear out of them as you can see I've worn them too much but I love pairing them with jeans they look amazing with Levi's baggy jeans just any any kind of like casual look they are great for so I've got these vans they're the pink van old school vans um, I do also own vans in black so yeah so I bought van a kids size vans in black like vans old school exactly like this 
but they were definitely different. There was something different about them. These ones are heavier. I don't know if I love that, to be honest. And I don't get as much wear out of these vans as my other shoes. I usually would pair these with like more girly looks, like maybe with like, um, you know, like a cute mini dress and a cute mini skirt. This kind of shoe is really nice to pair with that. So yeah. Okay, so let's move on to some, another pair of Converse's. These are honestly so dirty, they need to be cleaned. Um, I think I like stepped in mud or something, like something's gone wrong here. So they are the white Chuck Taylor Converse. They are a leather, they've got a leather upper and they are kind of a platform. So when I was looking into these, I wanted to, basically I wanted platform Converse's. But this one is a kid's one, so it's not like a full size platform. I think it's just sort of like a double sole, which I think is quite cool anyway. But yeah, basically I wanted to, I didn't want to spend the full like 90 pounds or however much it was to get the platform con. So I paid a lot less for these, but they're not the proper platforms, but they're close enough. Okay, now let's move on to some Nikes. So they're the Nike Jesters. I bought these quite a while ago. They look, they, why is all of my shoes so dirty? Like honestly, I just, they need to be cleaned. So these ones are beige and pink or tan and pink. They've got tan laces, pink detailing. The, the shoe, I mean, the tick is like a little bit lower, which is, I think is a nice detail. And they've also got this like back section, which would usually be up here. They've got that kind of on an angle and a bit lower, which I think is also cool. I like when they make, you know, different like customizations to these sneakers, I think, it makes it unique and it makes it look cooler than usual. But yeah, these ones are platform, which I love. They're very comfortable. They give you a good amount of height for not a lot of stress. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, so those are my Nike Jesters. I bought these Nike Reacts for when I go to like an exercise class, you know, if I need, if I'm doing a HIIT workout or whatever, mainly all the exercise that I do is yoga. Like I'll go to the yoga studio, do a power yoga class, do a vinyasa flow, whatever. You don't need shoes for that. You know, it's always good to have a pair of runners in your closet if you, you know, maybe you feel like going for a run sometimes. Some people do, not that I do, but they're a cool pink color. I really like that they're really light. And yeah, I mean, I don't, obviously don't get much use out of them other than to wear them for exercise. But yeah, that's why they're in good condition because I never exercise, ha <laughs> uh, So we're gonna talk about these Nike blazers. So I was lucky enough, grateful, forever grateful and fortunate enough to work on the Nike campaign. It was Nike times office on the blazer campaign. And it was the Nike blazer, triple whites slash 70, apostrophe 77s. And basically they're, they're these, but I customized mine after the campaign and I, you know, decided to paint the tick red and I wanted, I was inspired by this photo, I'll put it up here. And I was unsure, I really, really liked how it looked. I think it looked so cool, but I was unsure what text to put on my shoe, on my customs. So eventually I came up with song lyrics. So if you know what the song lyrics are, then let me know in the comments below, but yeah, I'll leave it close up of them so you guys can see what the text says. They're more of a narrow shoe, they fit a bit smaller. I think I got, I mean, I think I got my normal size, but I have seen maybe go half size up. I've seen that advice about Nike blazers. So I'll talk about these white, uh, not white, red Converse's. So I bought these a while ago, but then I like hardly ever wore them. That's why they're in like pretty good condition. And also I didn't bring them with me to London like when I, first came, but I got my hubby to bring them when he came in December of last year, but I still really haven't even worn them. So it was kind of a waste, but I think I will reintroduce them into my wardrobe. The only thing is because I wear a lot of color and this is such a bold red, I find it difficult to, you know, incorporate into colorful outfits. I, I feel like this kind of shoe looks really good with um, a washed out white, a washed out blue vintage Levi's and then like a white tank top, like something really like, simple and casual and then like a pop of color this is what i think the converse in red will look really really good okay so moving on to these babies so these i got right before these shoes which remind me of like the start of corona because i i ordered two pairs of shoes like right before coronavirus happened or like it was like around the time so it was right before i came back to melbourne my shoes arrived and then literally i got on a flight like the next day so the, the timing was great for me uh for the arrival of the shoes 
So yeah, I love these. I wanted to buy some more colorful Converse's and I love purple, I love green. So that's what we went for. So these ones are a platform. I love that they are a platform. I'm here for that. Um, they're very comfortable to wear. The color is amazing. It's a nice lilac lavender, which is great. Moving on from that one, I'm also going to talk about my green Converse's, which I don't have with me because they, sadly, I had to remove them at the last minute from my luggage because it was too heavy. So my green Converse's, they're high tops. They are an amazing shade of like limey, avocado. I wouldn't say avocado. They're more of like a, not neon, but you'll see them in the photos. Anyway, I don't have them with me, as I said. So these are the photos of them. Um, I've worn them a lot on my Instagram. So while we're on that topic of shoes that I don't have with me, that I would like to have, is the Nike MTKs. They are the classic dad shoe, like chunky sneaker. And I feel like they're such a nice silhouette. They look amazing with dresses, mini dresses and mini skirts. They're such a nice look. Okay, so yeah, those are Nike MTKs. Now moving on to these babies. So these were plain white Nike Air Force Ones, which I customized. I didn't do badly. Like if I'm looking at this up close, like if you really look at it and scrutinize it, then you will see, you know, some flaws. You will see that. But if you look at it from afar, like it doesn't look bad, right? So I love this color combination, pink, yellow, lilac. We love to see it. I've switched out the white laces to purple laces. And yeah, I love, I just love them. These are great. They, these shoes make me happy. When I see them, I get happy. It doesn't take much, really. So another pair that I don't have with me right now, but is worth mentioning, is the Nike Air Max Veronas. I love these ones. They're the nicest shade of like lavender. They've got some green accents. Perfect color combo. I'm in love. And they look amazing. I feel like Air Maxes are really, really nice with dresses. More of like a girly kind of like vibe. Let's move on to some Jordans. Okay, actually, I might talk about the first pair of Jordans that I bought. So I don't have those with me. So they're the red and black Jordans. I've done a video on how to style them. I'll link it in the cards. And yeah, so these ones I got quite a while ago, actually. And they're a boy's size. I got them from East Bay. They are super small. Like, they do fit me, but... They, it's pushing it, really. It's pushing it. So I'm lucky that it fit me because honestly, I didn't want to pay full price for Jordans because they're so expensive. So paying, you know, a, for the kids version is just, it's just way more acceptable to me. Now moving on to probably my most worn pair of shoes. It's a big call, but it, I think it's right. These shadows, these Nike shadows, if you follow me on Instagram, you literally would have seen me wear these all the time. I wear them almost every day. That's why they're in this condition. They're worn. They need to be cleaned. Um, but yeah, I honestly love these sneakers. They are everything. They're so good. They give you height. They give you a little bit of platform. Um, I love the detailing of the two ticks and the, the double of everything, essentially. So the, the base and the back um it's great i love even the, even the tongue it's got the it's shadow you get it the shadow of everything so yeah i'll move on to these jordans so these are brand new i have not worn them i got them right before i came back to london they are a girl's shoe again with the kids because it can't be paying full price for shoes for jordans especially because they're too expensive so we've got you know a tiffany blue and then a hot pink we love that color combo it's very eye-catching very bold. It does look very like kids shoe, <laughs> but I like that, you know, I'm a fan. And the laces are cool. It's a bit different. It's got, you know, the colors again with these dots and yeah. So next up I bought, actually no, I got these as a birthday present. So these white Nike Air Force Ones. So basically I wanted to get a pair to customize again. So I bought these ones. I don't know, I don't remember wearing these, but they're literally dirty on the soles. Anyway, I must have worn them out once, but otherwise they're basically brand new. So they have lilac, a lilac inner, and they've also got lilac on the back and on the sole, which is great. So instead of getting like a plain white Air Force One, I wanted to get something with like a little bit of pizzazz already on it so that's why i chose these are like ones because i think that extra detail is cool and yeah once i do customize them it'll look even cooler so yeah i'm not sure exactly where i want to go with the customs for these ones i do love playing around with colors and like you know like 
but I want to do something a little bit different to this. But I'm not sure, maybe I'll switch up the colours and go for a different vibe, who knows. And the final pair of shoes that we have are the Nike Blazers. So these are the latest Nike Blazers. They've dropped quite recently. They are a new release. And honestly, I love these. The two, the two colours that we have, the pink and the blue, we love to see it. They've also got green on the tongue. I love that detail. The attention to detail is amazing. And then we've got yellow on the back with the Nike lettering, which is perfect. These ones are great. I've gotten so much wear out of them already. I paired them with some vintage Levi's and a pink top to match the pink tick. And then I've also worn them with like a pink and green outfit. That is everything for my sneaker collection. I've probably talked about maybe like 15, 20 pairs. Let me, let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I've talked about 14 pairs of shoes. Then probably I've talked about three or four that I don't have with me. So 18 pairs of shoes in total. So basically Nike Blazers, Nike Air Force One, Shadow, and Chuck Taylors. Those are my top three faves. Obviously the colors and the colorways are always interchanging as to what I like, but those are my essentials. Those are the ones I need to have in my collection. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this sneaker collection. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you have a favorite out of these ones or if you have a favorite out of your collection, then let me know. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.